Hey guys, so this is bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account. We are playing Corky, and I didn't really want to play Corky, if I'm honest. Um, I panic picked in like the last second. I was going to play Brand carry with an Ash support, and Brand got banned. I didn't hover it, so it, it, my own team banned it, but it's not their fault. Um, main pick by enemy Volley Bear. Main pick by enemy Lee Sin. It's very unfortunate for my two players. Uh, we have a duo queue. Apparently they don't. But again, they might be duo. It's just not showing it. But yeah, this is not great for us, I will say. Like Twitch Lulu, historically a very strong lane. Just very good in terms of synergy, everything. Ash Corky in my head does not go at all. Because Ash is kind of like poke. And then eventual level six arrows and stuff. Corky is like all in fighty fighty. So it doesn't really go together. Um, so I don't know how this is going to go. It was a bit of a panic pick in the last second. Uh, but yeah, today I'm playing on the Huzzy account. I might swap onto, onto Mundo's Nurse later. We'll see. Uh, but basically, as you all know, I'm going away on a trip later this week. So I am needing content, needing videos. And um, yeah, I think we can... I'm hoping the games on average will be easier to have videos on the Huzzy account at the moment than the Mundo's Nurse account with it being like, you know, crazy uh, high rating. Um, and also a, a lot of the people in the YouTube audience, when I uploaded my first game on the Huzzy account, a lot of you were actually pretty happy. Uh, a lot of you were like, oh snap, this is back, which is kind of cool. Um, so hopefully you guys don't mind too much either. Uh, the Twitch is a one trick. His name is questionable, um, to say the least, but yeah. So hopefully I'll have a good game. They are in essence full AD unless Twitch goes AP. And obviously Volley Bear might be doing that kind of weird build that exists. But we will see. We will see. Ba -ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I think Cassio could do well against a Trist. Obviously, Corky has had quite a few nerfs since his like peak strength, so he's definitely not as strong as he was a few patches ago. And as I said, I didn't really want to play Corky. I was more of a panic pick. Uh, if I'm honest. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah, they're mainly full AD. We're mixed, which is good, but our comp is... I don't think it goes well together. Like, we don't really have any big wombo. We don't really have... Our pick potential is basically Ash Arrow. So, we'll see. We'll see. Halo Blades Ash does mean she does a bit of, bit of burst damage, which is good, because I think that's our weakness. Our weakness in this lane, I would say, is all-ins against Twitch Lulu. But the fact that she's got Hail of Blades, I think, is good. Because hopefully that means her DPS won't be as bad in all-ins. And what is... Nobody leashes in Master. People leash in this rating bracket. I don't... I don't leash anymore. Junglers have so much sustain in the jungle nowadays. You don't need to leash for them. And for those that are wondering, like, why don't you leash anymore? That's basically it. Where before they used to lose a decent amount of health if you don't help them and all that. They're completely fine nowadays. Which went stealth? Going on? What? What the hell just happened? Why did the enemy team do that? What? Hold on, lads. What the hell was that, bro? I didn't even have to use barrier. I was like, this is fine. That Twitch just got blinded. I, again, I'm, I should be getting that farm, but I just wanted to push it in as quick as I can. Uh oh. Really? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> they get rescued by their jungler. I mean, they didn't get anything from it, but it just, it does dampen me a bit, but... 
Or maybe I shouldn't have used exhaust. It was close. If I had mana, if I was level three, I would have probably killed him. Ash is now leaving me. You Okay, after you start winning lane, you don't leave. Again, I know I'm in a lower rank at the moment, but that's still, you know, this is still emerald. It's not like we're in silver or iron or gold. Like, it's still emerald. It's high emerald. There's some diamonds in this game. This Ash should know she shouldn't be running the other side of the map. If I mean, if they kill him, they kill him, but it's just not necessary for it. They kill him, but it's just not necessary for an Ash to do that, in my opinion. I think sometimes supports have lost their focus on actually being bot lane support. And now my bot lane has gone mid and is in such a fiesta game. Oh my god. <laughs> they, they could have pushed their advantage on me knowing that I was 2v1. And they just left lane to leave me by myself. Hmm. <laughs> this is very weird. This is very weird. Oh, God. What the hell? I don't understand. Oh. Is he leaving again? If he comes here, I'm going to go for him. Just like, I won't kill him probably, but... You can't be leaving again. Okay, I'll push. Like if, if he's constantly leaving... He is left again. This guy doesn't want to lane. Nobody in this game wants to actively play the role that they've queued up for. What the hell? People don't actively want to play their roles. This is so weird. Did I miss a plate? I might have lost the plate. Corky is now an actual AD carry. Um, he doesn't do like his old passive of converting his auto attacks and everything to magic damage. That's gone. Shoot. It honestly kind of just feels like this Twitch doesn't know his champion, but we also know he's a one trick, so. Tower. Are you serious? I got clipped by the tower for like a split moment. Ew. Yeah, both supports were level 3 at the beginning of that fight. This is a very odd game. This is a very, very weird game. It's hard sometimes to play games like these because there's just no structure to them. I prefer structure to my games, and I'm sure most people are in the same kind of boat. It's just, too, like, again, Ash is leaving me. She's literally at level three and she's leaving. Like, bro, you're level three. It's This isn't your job. It's literally not your job to do this. Like, she's going to kill him. Maybe. She got him. But, like, that's now summoners that we now don't have, and she's dead anyway, in bot lane, where we're supposed to be winning and fighting. Lulu's over there. Like, again, it's just frustrating for me because it's literal players that just don't want to play the role that they queued up to play. I knew I was level 6 advantage and he didn't have Lulu. A weird game. Yeah, my damage is quite high. Oh my god, that scared the life out of me. Why didn't he just go back? 
He can't lane up. The Lulu's top lane. Both supports in this game, I'm going to be honest, just have no idea what they're doing. It's actually just turned the whole game into an absolute fiesta. Very weird. I've got opportunity when I go back. You need to be careful. He's ulted. Yeah, Ash has gone the wrong way. She should have been running way earlier, and for some reason she overstayed. As I said, like I don't think the Ash has got any idea what she's doing, but nor does the Lulu. So it's kind of even in that regard. Very odd. This is still, by the way, the top 5% of the game. You wouldn't really guess it, but yeah. Top 5%. Hopefully we can win. He's doing the wrong build, isn't he? I swear the modern Volibear build is that Rod of Ages thing and he's not doing it. You need to get level, like, level 6 to level 4. That is a big gap. It's me. Oh my god, I don't have a support. This is such a lame game. Diana just missed. Oh, I like, I don't know. It just, there's no structure to this game. My support is level four. We just get Lee Sin ganked the moment I come back to bot lane. Like, oh, dude, this is just such an annoying game. <laughs> Hopefully, like, you guys may feel the frustration watching this. It's very weird. A lot of people, I will say, is like in, you know, I know most people aren't in Emerald or above. But most, if people have been Emerald, historically, people have said Emerald is the most hated rank of any. It is just a mess. It's an absolute mess of ratings and matches. It's very weird, because like I think what's basically happened is when you get to Emerald, mechanically, players are actually pretty decent. And I think a lot of players get to Emerald, basically, they get carried by their mechanics. So, but when strategy is needed and stuff. You just stole that kill for no reason. That should have been a double kill for me. That should have been a double kill for me. That's annoying. Oh, she, she literally autoed just to take the kill. That's annoying. Double kill would have been lovely. I don't think low diamond's worse than low, uh, like emerald. I think emerald is probably the worst in terms of, and when I say the worst, obviously emerald is better than every rank below it. But what we're talking about is expectation versus reality. I think that's what people hate about emerald. The expectation of emerald is pretty good because you're in the top ten, you know, five ten percent. That's actually a pretty good percentage. But then in reality, it's just absolute mess of games, and you're like, this happens in this rating bracket, and that's I think the. The thing that lets a lot of people down. A lot of them here again, I guess. Again, the Twitch and Lulu, I think I just go, oh, no, they're not. Lulu actually went without the Twitch somewhere. Didn't expect that. Ash arrow, ash arrow, ash arrow, ash arrow. Ash arrow. That's way too late, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Did he use it when the Trist was in the bush? Just use your E, get vision, then use your ult. Uh. No. 
Ah oui. The reason why I was willing to take that fight, she hasn't got a completed item. I I pressed tab before she, like she came in. I was like, okay, can I fight this? She didn't have an item. She was yeah, she was a level or two ahead, but she's building components and components and components, and she's not completing an item. So it was close because of the level difference, and I had to use barrier. But if she had a completed item, she would have easily won it. Do not ignore completing items, everybody. What an odd game. <laughs> what a very, very, very odd game. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Dude, that healing. There's a few builds floating around on Corky. I'm doing kind of what's considered maybe the old build, because I think some people are doing a more kind of standard Triforce AD carry build now, but I kind of missed the train on Corky. I never I didn't play him when he was like really crazy crazy, so I thought let's just give him a go. Right, I'm I'm hoping Twitch is gonna make his way here. He's not. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of do the lethality build, give it a go. Just keep being his interest. It was Trist. Oh. They're all there. <laughs> I did not expect all of them. I just committed for the Twitch and hopes I can get him. Unfortunately, I couldn't. This is such a weird game. We're doing well. I think we'll win this game, but Jesus. Yes, duh. Has Lee Sin quit or something, by the way? Level 7 to level 11. I think their Lee Sin has gone. Where'd he go? So this, the video of this, the title of this video may be something on the lines of like, is Lethality Corky still crazy? But it also might be like, is Emerald the most Fiesta rank? It, it probably is. And yeah, like, again, rage quitting probably happens more in Emerald than basically any other rank. Like, it's such a weird rating. Wow. What is going on? Yes, duh. Can I even do this by myself? To be honest, I probably should give it to my jungler. Oh no, she's completed her, her item. I'll take it, why not? Technically, the better person for taking this would be Diana, probably, but... Whatever. Right. So yeah, I think Lee Sin has quit. He's either, D well, he's either DC'd, or he's just quit the game. It's one of the two. I wonder why. Like when when did he like leave? When was level seven? Did they have a play? Did he die? Obviously he's died twice. Did he die? And then he's like, ah, screw this, I'm not playing anymore. Like I wonder what the, the reason was. Well, this twitch positioning, he's very um overconfident. So he's positioning so forward as a twitch that's so vulnerable to die. I'm just going to just beeline it mid. If no one's going to stop me, then cool. Doesn't look like no anyone's going to try and stop me either. What a weird game, everybody. 
Why haven't they nerfed Blackfire? Because it's the only way you can play mages right now. If you nerf Blackfire, then you literally are making mages non-existent completely. And there you go, GG. They, yeah, Lee Sin, uh, Lee Sin did quit. And we win the game. I have no idea what happened. I'll upload it because it really does show. This shows like the, the like the whole spectrum of how fiesta -y Emerald is. Like people, Ash was running all over the map at level three. Then the Lulu felt the need to do it as well. So she then started doing it. Then Lee Sin rage quits the game, even though at the time I think he rage quit, the enemy team may have still been doing well. Like, I don't know. This this really just shows the extent that Fiestas do happen in Emerald, especially. It is such a weird rank. So we get promoted to Emerald 2, making our way to Diamond on this account. We'll take it. We go 644, 10.9k. Again, Alawi does the highest damage because she was wailing on a volley bear doing the wrong build. <laughs> Literally the wrong build. Um, leave a penalty. So yeah, Leeson did officially leave. No one has said anything. I have no idea. So, what a weird situation. I don't know. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, what I'll actually say is a question of the day. If you're Emerald, which I know is a lower percentage, but typically people that watch like gameplay videos on YouTube are a bit higher rating than average anyway. If you're in Emerald, what is your opinion on the rank? Let me know. You may have just heard Maya shaking. Uh, but yeah, like it, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about Emerald, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace, restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime and know how to unleash eternal power.